Um, just our, I feel like our operation in general today um, struggled at times. Um, you know, and I, I take full full responsibility uh, for it. Um, like, yeah, it was a loud environment, um, but we knew that going into it. Um, and I feel like there's things that I could have done better to help that uh, be smoother. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, those experiences are great learning experiences for me. Uh, and, you know, I take full responsibility for, for those. Um, miscues and you know just not being clean in all aspects at times so it's something to learn from and take from um, and get better next next time what did you think of the playoff atmosphere on the road in the hostile environment and how you handled it yeah it was really fun it was really fun you know never uh never try to take for granted and get an opportunity to play this game especially in an atmosphere like this like this is as a little kid this is every kid's dream you know to, to play in an atmosphere like this and have this opportunity and you know I did take some time to soak that in today um, and try to cherish it and <clears throat> you know it was awesome it was awesome it's unfortunate we couldn't come out with a win because I felt like um, our team fought really really hard today um, you could tell there was no quit in us and walking into this game nobody gave us an, a chance at all um, and we had a we had a chance to win it you know and uh, that, that's what you want. And it just speaks volumes about the fight in this team, the guys that we have in this locker room, the, guy, the, the people we have in this organization from top to bottom. Um, and I do feel like we are moving in the right direction in, the, in this organization, and guys are, are hungry. So, uh, you know, be important to remember this feeling that we have right now in this offseason and get to work. Now, is there, I don't think you said it, but is there maybe one passing play that? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That last interception there on the third and nineteen. Um, yeah, it was a bad decision on my part. Uh, just got another situation we're in there. Um, you know, I felt it go to uh, Tampa two, and it was trying to two on one to safety. Um, the corner did a good job of just falling off. Uh, we didn't have a, a quick slant coming underneath it. Um, you know, I had a check down too, looking at the pictures after the play. You know, I just got to understand the situation there um, and just take yards and play field position there and not force something. You know, that's, that's not, that one hurts. <laughs> that one hurts, but just got to learn from it. What did Mike say to kind of final message to you guys in the post game locker room? Yeah, I mean, he was, he, you know, obviously we're all hurt right now. Uh, nobody in that locker room wants, wanted to lose. <laughs> um, and we have a lot of competitive people with a lot of fire in them um, that wanted to win today. Um, and, you know, he just said he was proud of us, the way we fought, the way that um, the resi resiliency we showed. And, um, you know, we just got to keep trending in the right direction and learn from the mistakes, you know, learn from every opportunity that we've gotten this year that I've gotten. Um, and, you know, I have all the confidence in the world that we got the right guys in the locker room. They're going to do that. And um, I, I feel like we got a taste today of what we can do and what we can accomplish. And we just got to build on that on the off season and, and get to work. Well, a lot of seventh round picks don't even make the NFL roster. You start a playoff game. Obviously, you were going to grow. What, what do you need to do this off season to take the next step? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's going to be this, this year, um, man, like this. Looking back at all the things that I've experienced, man, I'm super grateful. Because, um, like you said, you know, uh, I mean, Brock Purdy is doing an exceptional job right now. Um, but I'm very fortunate to be in the shoes that I am and get the opportunities that I've gotten. And I think every opportunity that I've gotten is a great learning experience for me. Um, the highs, the lows, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it's the, it's the, just having faith in the process. And that's something I've done my whole life. You know, it hasn't always been clear and perfect and sunshine and rainbows, you know. But one thing about me is you know, I'm going to take some time here to decompress. It's been a crazy, just long year from going from draft prep to this. To, you know, I mean, it's been a year full of football. And I think it's important for me to take some time away and decompress and just be me for a second um, and let the game uh, 
kind of just rest for a second and then get back into it. You know, I think the biggest thing for me um, is just understanding the, the ins and outs of the offense. And um, right now, um, I mean, I do everything I can to be prepared. I prepare so hard, and um, I hope my, my teammates feel that in me and, and see that and know that I give it everything I got. Um, and, you know, I just, the ins and outs of the offense, understanding situational football, understanding the way that the game works in the NFL and being able to put us in great situations to win. Um, you know, I feel like there's, there's, there's glimpses of times where I'm doing that, and then there's glimpses where it's like, man, like the interception, you know. It's just, just things to learn from and um, understanding defenses even more. You know, there, there's so much work to be done, and that's what's exciting. That's what's exciting about this position is as soon as you feel like you got it figured out, you know, you should be done playing the game because there's always stuff to learn. There's always stuff to grow from. And that's one thing I take pride in is making growth and, and getting better. And, and I will do that this offseason. Yeah, well, man, our defense played so good today. Like, I've, yeah, that's tough because those guys gave us every chance to win, got us a touchdown, got us turnovers, um, helped me out a ton. And for us to not come out with a win, like, it hurts me a lot. Um, but, you know, we go down 17 0, um, kind of struggle to get in a rhythm there. I throw an interception, um, just had trouble seeing the ball go through the hoop a little bit. And then once we did that, you know, it was like, okay, we're, we're getting in a rhythm. And, you know, that, that was the biggest thing for us that everybody was keep preaching was, hey, like, just got to see the ball go through the net, you know, and, and get in a rhythm here. And we did there before halftime, and our defense started that. And, you know, um, I got to be better to, to help out this team, you know, because I feel like that's a game um, we definitely had an opportunity to win. And uh, um, I will take the credit for the loss and, and shoulder that and move forward. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, just our, I feel like our operation in general today um, struggled at times. Um, you know, and I, I take full full responsibility uh, for it. Um, like, yeah, it was a loud environment, um, but we knew that going into it. Um, and I feel like there's things that I could have done better to help that uh, be smoother. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, those experiences are great learning experiences for me. Uh, and, you know, I take full responsibility for, for those um, miscues and, you know, just not being clean in all aspects at times. So it's something to learn from and take from um, and get better next next time. What did you think of the playoff atmosphere on the road in the hostile environment and how you handled it? Yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. You know, never uh, never try to take for granted and get an opportunity to play this game, especially in an atmosphere like this. Like, this is, as a little kid, this is every kid's dream, you know, to, to play in an atmosphere like this and have this opportunity. And, you know, I did take some time to soak that in today um, and try to cherish it. And, you know, it was awesome. It was awesome. It's unfortunate that we couldn't come out with a win because I felt like um, our team fought really, really hard today. Um, you could tell there was no quit in us. And walking into this game, nobody gave us an, a chance at all. Um, and we had, a, we had a chance to win it, you know. And uh, that, that's what you want. And it just speaks volumes about the fight in this team, the guys that we have in this locker room, the, guy, the, the people we have in this organization from top to bottom. Um, and I do feel like we are moving in the right direction in, the, in this organization, and guys are, are hungry. So, uh, you know, be important to remember this feeling that we have right now in this offseason and get to work. Uh, is there, I don't think you said this, but is there maybe one passing play that um, you think that you know, could have been made and maybe changed? Uh, yeah. Score yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that last interception there on the third and 19. Um, 
yeah, it was a bad decision on my part. Uh, just got another situation we're in there. Um, you know, I felt it go to uh, Tampa two, and it was kind of two on one to safety. Um, the corner did a good job of just falling off. 